Hey there Stampers, this is Sherry Roth. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Alberta, Canada. And today I'm here to share with you this fun um, easel calendar stand that you can turn into a card featuring the Queen Bee Bundle from the J January to April 2023 mini catalog. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is the bundle that we're focusing on and I've combined it with the Regency Park DSP, which is a six by six paper pack. You can see that there's tons of different patterns. We've got some florals and then some geometric kind of generic papers, some stripes, some crosshatch, lots of different patterns. So these are two of the patterns that I've created so far. And for this particular card, I'm going to use this pattern here and that's the back side. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I started with a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half, or sorry, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And I'm just gonna fold that in half. And then I've got a four and a quarter by four inch piece of Knight of Navy. And I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer and I am going to put the four inch side along the top and I'm gonna score it at half an inch, two inches, and three and a half inches. So that works out to, did I do that right? Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Oh, and I've got the wrong, oh, this measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I wanted to trim off a quarter of an inch. Okay, so this should be the four inch side and I've measured it at half an inch, two inches and three and a half inches, all right? So that measures half an inch in from either side and then down the middle at two inches. All right, so I had the wrong starting measurement. That's why it went like that. Okay, and then we're gonna fold this. We're gonna do a mountain fold. So the middle will just fold down. So that is a mountain fold. And then this two sides will be valley folds. This is going to be what holds our card together. So that's what it's gonna look like. All right, but we're gonna save that and we'll do that at the end. Then I've got a piece of three DSP that measures three and seven eighths by five by five and an eighth and a piece of petal pink cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter. We're just gonna attach these to, to each other. I'm just gonna use a little bit of multi-purpose glue. Add that on here so that we have about a sixteenth of an inch showing all the way around. And then that's going to go on our card front. And we'll have about an eighth of an inch border all the way around. All right, and then I've got these calendars that I purchased from Kevin Esty. I will link to the calendars in the description below. So this is a great little thing to give as a gift to somebody. Um, that they can keep on their desk all year round. So I've got the, the calendar here and I've gone ahead and I've added some tear and tape to the back. I'm just gonna burnish that with my bone folder, make sure it's really stuck on there. And I'll use my paper piercing tool to peel back the backing. And we're going to attach that so that we've got an even border on the two sides and the bottom, just like that. All right, now we're gonna do some stamping and I just realized I'm missing some white cardstock, so let me just grab some. Oh, and I don't even have any scraps left. I have to open up a brand new package. All right. Okay, so we'll pull out a piece of just regular white cardstock and we are gonna stamp this fabulous bee image from the Queen Bee Bundle. And we're gonna stamp it in Knight of Navy. And I'll just stamp it kind of in the corner here. Okay, and 
and then we'll trim it out. Okay, and then we're gonna die cut it. So I'm gonna grab my brand new Boho Blue mini machine. So this is a machine that, a die cutting machine that you can choose as one of the starter kit options during celebration. So from January 5th to February 28th, this is one of the options that you can choose when you become a demonstrator. That's the only way that you can get this fabulous blue machine. All right, so I'm gonna use the coordinating die and die cut this. So I'll just line it up. Position that on there and run it through. And then I've already gone ahead and die cut a few other images just so that you didn't need to see me die cut several different images. So I've got this piece here that I've cut from a piece of vellum. I've got the detailed wings, which I cut from a piece of white. And I've got this small little flower, which I cut from some navy blue. All right, I'm gonna bring in a scrap piece of paper. And we're gonna take our wings and we're gonna add a little shimmer to them. So I'm gonna use some Wink of Stella and just color over top. That gives them a little bit of shimmer. This is something I love to do with butterflies, dragonflies, fireflies, bumblebees, anything with wings. I just love to give them a little bit of shimmer. Okay, we'll set that aside, let it dry. And we'll bring back our card base. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some mini glue dot and we'll go ahead and adhere this piece. And I'm just gonna add this right to the center. And then this is gonna go on here like this, just a nice subtle background. And then we're gonna add another glue dot. And I've got a nice big bow that I've tied some twine, just gonna add that on there. My B, I'm gonna curl up the wings just a little bit, and then we're gonna add some dimensionals to the back to pop it up. So if you love this Queen Bee bundle, then you're definitely gonna wanna check out this month's class to go. I will link to the blog post where all the information is. There is an option for everyone, including if you're outside of Canada, there is a tutorial that's available to purchase. And if you're watching this video after the deadline, which is January 13th, then the tutorial will be available to purchase. All right, so we've got that. And then I'm gonna take my shimmery wings and curl those up. I love to do that, Just, it makes it look like the B is flying off of the page. Pop that on there like that. Another mini glue dot for the center of the flower. And I'm just kind of curling up those petals to give it a bit more dimension. That's gonna go right in the center. And then I'm gonna add one of these milky dots. I'm just gonna use one of the small white ones, add it to the center of the flower. And there's the front of our card. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Seal Plus and add a strip down here. Now you can use multi-purpose glue. You'll wanna give it a minute to set, or you could also use tear and tape. And I'm just gonna open my card, line this up with the score line and then push down and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. This time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in, fold this back and then I'm just gonna close my card and that's gonna create the easel so that it stands up nicely. Now I wanted to decorate the back because I want to 
this is actually going to be the thank you gift for anyone who participates in this month's class to go. So I had a little scrap of the same DSP left. So I'm just gonna add that little scrap to the bottom of a four by five and a quarter inch piece of white. I always try to use up my scraps while I'm creating because um, I find that I often don't go back and use these scraps and we can end up with so many. All right, and then I brought in this Kind and Sincere stamp set, which is also from the January to April mini catalog. And I love that it's a combination of nice big words with some smaller greetings that you can combine with them. So I'm gonna do thanks so very much. So we're gonna do thanks in navy. Love it. And then we're gonna take some petal pink and do so very much. And then that can get added to the back of our card. Flip this over. Add that to the back and we've got this fabulous gift idea that will fit inside of a standard size envelope. Now, just to note, it will require, likely require extra postage just because of the thickness of the calendar and all those layers of cardstock and then the bulk of the embellishment. All right, there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to check out this month's class to go. Um, the tutorial will be linked as well as a full supply list and you can always refer back to this um, blog post for all the measurements and everything if you didn't catch them all during the video. And if you really enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. All right, thanks so much for watching. Take care.